Since the 1980s, the water of the Mediterranean Sea has gotten about one degree hotter. The fishes that live there have come up with a solution, but will it work in the long term? I'm Dan Riskind. Temperature is something most fish care a great deal about. They might not be warm-blooded, but many fish can only survive over a narrow range of temperatures. So how are they supposed to deal with warming water? Well, a new Israeli study shows that as temperatures have gone up, Mediterranean fishes have responded by going down, seeking deeper water where it's colder. The study included 236 species in the Mediterranean Sea. Two thirds of them were fish, but it also included some mollusks and some crustaceans. What the researchers measured in the study was something called minimum depth. That's the closest any member of a species gets to the surface. In other words, it's how deep you'd need to dive before you found any members of that species. Well, since the 80s, on average, the minimum depth of animals in the Mediterranean Sea has dropped 55 meters, or 180 feet deeper. And to be clear, these aren't fishes that used to swim near the surface moving to the bottom. These are fish that typically live on the bottom already, but now they're on the bottom in a deeper part of the sea. They're not moving straight down, they're moving to a different region. It's kind of like climbing a mountain, but upside down. To go even a little ways up, you might end up hiking many miles. It's the same for these fish seeking deeper waters. They've gotten deeper by moving long distances to other parts of the sea. As climate continues to change, scientists expect that this trend will continue. Of course, the question is, how deep will those fish need to go, and will they hit rock bottom before they get there? For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.